Gosh, that freaked me out. <laughs> On the way to school, I have this rose because today is pre teacher appreciation day. So this whole week, we're going to have to give our teacher stuff to appreciate her. Today was a flower, so I got a mini face and a little rose. It actually kind of smells good. It's from my mom's garden, so pretty garden, actually. So I just wanted to vlog about that because I thought it was actually pretty cool. For the teacher appreciation week. And yeah, so hope my teacher liked this. Hi everybody, it's me, Tracy, and welcome to my video and welcome to my channel. Well, as you can see, Faith was really super excited <laughs> to do, do a little clip on the vlog. Uh, she is really loving these vlogs. She's loving um, being in them. Sometimes she gets a little, but for the majority of it, she's really having a fun time with these. So I hope that you guys take the time to answer her question of the day. Uh, let's see. So today, oof. Gosh, something just got on me. Oh, gosh, that freaked me out. It was like a flyer or something. Oh my gosh. I am totally leaving that part in the video. Oh my gosh. So anyways, my, what I'm gonna, uh, gosh, I like totally got distracted. <laughs> Landed on my ear and buzzed off really fast. Gosh, that creeped me out. Okay, so anyways, what I have planned for today is to fill up the bird feeders, the hummingbird feeders. I know that I told you guys last week that I had to do that, and um, the day got passed, and I never did it. So today, I have to do it. Um, but before I um, make the hummingbird feeder, I need to clean my stove. That is top priority today. My pool table is cleaned off, and the kitchen, uh, the sink is cleaned. So... I need to really focus on uh, getting, I gotta show you guys something here with my dogs if they continue doing it. But anyways, um, I need to clean my stove. That is top priority for today. So once I get the stove cleaned up, I need to make the hummingbird feeder uh, food and then I'll show you guys how I go about making it. It's really, really super simple. So um, stick around and I'll show you guys. <laughs> Head to the rescue. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, stop. so safe now. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn how to make some hummingbird food. Uh, I prefer not to use the hummingbird food that's red with the red dye inside of the big box stores. I make my own because I have found that the hummingbirds like my recipe over the ingredients that are sold in the plastic containers in the big box stores. So um, the hummingbirds really do love this stuff. They suck it down like no tomorrow. But basically the basic recipe, depending on how much you, how many feeders you have and how much uh, food you need to make, um, the general rule is for every one fourth cup of sugar, you're going to use one cup of water. So in this case, I had just enough uh, sugar. It's two cups of sugar inside my measuring cup. And so for two cups of sugar, I'm going to fill up eight cups of water. So let's say, for instance, 
four cups equals one quart. Well, what I'm doing, because I have two cups of sugar and I need to fill up eight cups of water, which is right here, eight cups of water, I'm gonna um, fill up two quarts in a pitcher. So that's where this comes into play right here. This is two quarts. Um, this is a Pampered Chef pitcher. And you don't have to have a Pampered Chef pitcher, but this particular pitcher is two quarts. So for me in my kitchen, I just know just off of the top of my head, all I have to do is whenever I need to fill up my bird feeders, you just pull out this, this pitcher, fill it up to two quarts, and then for one uh, of these measuring cups, which is two cups of sugar, then I just go ahead and pour the ingredients right into my, my pot here. So there's the sugar, and then you're going to pour in your water. And then once you're done pouring in your water, then you just get your pot, you put it onto your stove, turn on the heat, and then what you want to do is just go ahead and you're going to mix the, um, the liquid until the sugar crystals melt. You don't have to necessarily um, put your fire and make the, the liquid come to a rolling boil. You just want to get those crystals to melt. So in this case, um, it doesn't take very long. So if they've already melted, as you can see, it will just it's just very syrupy now. Um, it's like water, but if you put your finger in it, um, obviously when it cools, um, it will give you a really sticky consistency on your finger once it dries. So um, that is what you're going to want to do in order to make the hummingbird food is just go ahead and melt the sugar crystals. And then what you're going to do is just go ahead, turn off the fire, and then you're going to let that cool down until it comes to room temperature. And then you can go ahead and start filling up your feeders. So while the liquid is cooling down, what you're going to want to do is spend this time to clean with soap and water the feeders. Uh, the reason why is because the feeders will get really super sticky with the old syrup that's inside of the feeders. So you want to make sure that you clean them out really, really well. And I highly recommend taking them apart outside because when you take them apart, they will have bugs inside um, because there are other little creatures that get onto like the limbs of the trees or wherever you put your feeders. And so they want some of that action of getting some of that sugar as well, that sugar water. So they will tend to get inside of your feeders and feed off of that sugar water as well. So um, you'll have like pincher bugs. You'll probably more than likely have a lot of ants in your feeders also. And for the majority, a lot of them will, will more than likely be dead. But just in case there's any live ones, you don't want any of those getting into your kitchen or inside of your home. So that's why I'm saying you want to make sure that you spray them off outside and get the majority of all of those bugs or any extra nastiness that are in your feeders and then when you're done then just go ahead and pl um, pop them right inside of your sink with some soap and water so you can actually do like the deep cleaning of your feeders so um that's what you'll want to do while you are waiting for your hummingbird food the liquid to uh, cool off so let's go ahead and take a moment to talk about feeders. The reason why is because I feel it's very important to pick the right feeder. Um, if you are wanting one that is easy to disassemble and put together um, instead of one that is very hard to put together and disassemble and so forth, then you'll want to listen to this part. The reason why is because this one right here, I bought this one a few years ago and it is very, very hard to take apart. It's pretty, and there's a lot of pretty ones that are out on the market, but you have to also be careful. The reason why is because this one here, the cylinder is made of glass. And so I'm always afraid that when I'm trying to take the cylinder away, um, twist it apart from the base, that this cylinder is going to break in my hands and cut my hands. So I always have to wear like uh, gloves or like um, get like hand towels and take it apart, but still I'm always afraid that the cylinder is going to end up breaking. The reason why is because it really does take a lot of uh, manpower to untwist this away from the base because remember as I said, when the sugar and the, when the sugar water 
dries, it gets really super sticky. And so it kind of serves as like a glue per se um, when you are trying to twist the cylinder off of the base. So it really takes a lot of um, twisting power to get that off. So just be careful. There are some really pretty ones out on the market, but I'm always afraid of this glass base. Another thing is, is that the base on this one doesn't come apart. So when it comes time to cleaning the base, the inside, because it doesn't come undone, I mean, it's all welded together, as you can see here, it does not come apart whatsoever. So it's very, very hard to clean the inside of the base to get inside where all of the bugs are. So this one takes me a little more time to clean because I can't get inside the base so easily. The one that I prefer, now this one here was about $20 back when I got it. Uh, a few years ago. But the one that I prefer, to be totally honest, are the very simple ones that you can get at Walmart. These ones are like four or five dollars. You can probably get them for as low as like three bucks. Um, but the reason why I like these ones is because one, um, they're red and so hummingbirds are attracted to red. So um, they like this one over, uh, really seriously, between the two, they prefer this one over this one, over the pretty one. But this one here, it has a plastic cylinder and it comes apart. It, it twists very easily away from the base. It's not as hard to twist apart as it is this one right here. But I want to show you here. This is what the base looks like. So it comes apart really super easily. And then you just put that right on top and then you twist it. And then uh, the base goes right together. So it's really super easy to um, put together, and it's the whole thing is made out of plastic. So you could pre you can get one that you know is you know up there in in dollars, and it looks really pretty. Or you can go for one that is a little more on the lower budget, but the birds will like even more. So it really all depends on which route you're wanting to go. Um, but I actually prefer this one, as I've said. Okay, so let's go ahead and start filling up the bird feeders. Okay, so what I do is I get the sugar water from the pan and I put it right back into the two quart pitcher. Uh, the reason why is because it makes it much easier to pour into the bird feeders because of the little spout here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and turn your bird feeder upside down, fill it up with the liquid, and then with it still being upside down, you're going to go ahead and twist your, your uh, bird feeder base onto the top of the bird feeder. Okay, so now I have the bird feeder filled with the sugar water, and now I'm going to go ahead and walk it outside, and that way I can go ahead and hang it up. Okay, so now that you have your bird feeder hung up, all you're going to want to do now is just go ahead and give it one little push and then that way it gets all of the extra little air bubbles that are inside of the base. It'll kind of pop them up through the cylinder or it'll push them out through the little holes that the hummingbirds will feed out of. And your hummingbirds are going to love you. All you have to do now is just sit back and watch your hummingbirds come and feed. Okay, one really quick note that I forgot to mention, and it's really pretty important. Um, if you have more than one feeder that you're putting out in your yard, you want to make sure that you place them apart from each other and not together. The reason why is because, because hummingbirds uh, tend to dominate their feeders. And so if uh, there's a, a hummingbird here, he will run the other ones off. So try to put them throughout the yard. Like I have this one here, and then um, let me bring you over here so you can see where I have the other ones placed. I have these ones which are separated here um, that are hanging up underneath my valance. And then let me walk over here really quick so you can see these ones. Although these ones are really um, close together, um, this one is just an extra. It's just something that I put the extra water into. Um, but then here's the other one here that they really like. So just take that into consideration when you have multiple feeders that you want to make sure that you separate them. And she's off to gymnastics for two and a half hours. <laughs> Not as long. Not as long. Bye, baby. Have a fun time at gymnastics. Hurry up, babes. There's people behind us. We'll yeah, see you in a little bit. Cool. Um, I'm not being heard, but you're listening. It's normal. Bye.
Bye, Biebs. Bye. All right, now we have errands to do. So, I guess we're off. Okay, so I just got out of the bank, and oh my gosh, I am so tired. It's like, like a little after four, and I'm exhausted. I've got to tell you guys, my hat is off to you moms and dads that work full time, go to school full time, and still make it home to a clean house with a house full of kids, let alone one kid, and, and get it all done. How do you guys do it? Is, it? is there a secret? Because I don't know what that secret is. I haven't figured that secret out because I feel like I can never get everything done in a single day. Tell me your secret. I need it <laughs> really bad. And how do you stay alert? How do you stay awake? Because I could seriously pass out right now because of how tired I am, but I can't. I'm trying to find my keys in my purse. So please leave a comment down below and let me know <laughs> what your secret is. I need to know. Or do you drink like a lot of like Red Bulls or something? And so now I sit here and wait for my car to be washed. <laughs> uh, it's never ending. I'm curious. How often do you guys get your car washed? Weekly? Bi-weekly? Once a month? Once every other month? Or you just don't really care and you get it washed like me whenever you feel like it's like so bad that if it rains it's going to turn into mud. <laughs> I'm curious. How often do you guys wash your car? Seriously, be honest. I feel like whenever I get my car washed, it rains. So I wonder if it's planning to rain tomorrow. I should actually look at the forecast and see what it has. <laughs> what the weather it has planned for tomorrow. I'm going to do that right now for a matter of fact. So knock on wood, there is no forecast for rain tomorrow, just a lot of wind. So we shall see. I may be jinxing the weather all just by myself by getting this car washed. <laughs> My baby's coming back to life. Look at how clean she's getting. My question is for you guys, when you get your car washed and they put the air freshener inside your car, what smell do you guys usually like? This time around, I'm getting the new car smell. I've never smelled that one, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's a smell that I like, or else that's really gonna suck. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite smell? They had new car smell, they had pine, a cherry, they had lemon, um, and some other ones. I'm sure that when you get your car washed, they have uh, the same smells in your car wash, so let me know what, what flavor you guys like to smell. Do you guys ever take the time out of your day just to chill out and relax and to smell the roses? There's no better time to just chill and smell the roses than waiting for your car to be washed. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Seriously. Ugh. How often do you just just really just sit and smell the roses. I mean, you hear that saying all the time, but how, how often do you really do that? I love it. Oh, I feel like I have a whole new car again. Yay! <laughs> all right, now I gotta go get some groceries for dinner tonight. Yay! Boo! Okay, so I've decided what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. We are gonna have tuna sandwiches, with chopped onions and diced olives. Yep, that's what we're gonna have for tonight. Sounds good. Easy peasy. Good thing I don't have a picky family. <laughs> so now I sit and wait for Faith to get out of gymnastics and she still has another half an hour. So I am going to catch up on some YouTube. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Catch up on some YouTube. All right, everybody, that is the end of today's vlog. It is 10.52 at night, and I am absolutely exhausted. I'm sure you could probably see it in my eyes. 
but uh, the family is sound asleep in their beds and uh, I think I'm going to have to call it a night. <laughs> I'm at a standstill with my videos. Um, I have one uploading to YouTube right now. And then I have um, the videos from today uploading to iMovie. So there's not really much more I can do right now. So I am going to finish up tomorrow. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you uh, wouldn't mind leaving me a comment down below, let me know uh, the answers to all of the questions throughout the day. Um, but mostly, let me know uh, what you liked most about this video. Uh, I, I would really love to know what uh, interests you <laughs> in my life. So uh, please let me know down in the comment section. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe uh, because I will be having more vlogs out. Um, I am a new vlogger and so um, if you want to get caught up, right now is a really great time to get caught up uh, because there's not too many of, uh, of my videos out right now. And uh, if you like this channel and you like this video and you know of anybody that would be interested in uh, following along with us, then please go ahead and share my video and my channel with your loved ones, and that would be awesome. So until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, and until next time, I'll be vlogging to you tomorrow. Bye, guys!